Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Messages from Venus. This is a client reading. This is a new moon reading, you guys. I'm going to pull three tarot cards from here and a beautiful oracle, oracle card. Um, I haven't used my vintage deck in so long. But I just want to let you guys know um, that I'm having a 25% off sale. So you guys should go ahead, follow my page, get your discounts, you guys. Get your discounts. Um... I wanted to, to tell the person that this reading is for, that I've read your message and I know exactly who the reading is for, and before before I read for people, I try to calm myself down as much as possible so that I can choose the decks that are appropriate for either their question or themselves. And these decks are very kind of like old school, which is appropriate for the person that this reading is for. Um, and I also wanted to, to note that... Um, I'm actually going to pull two cards from here um, because there is like a some sort of like distance mama energy, mom energy coming through. But it just feels so far, so far, um, like uh, just from the heart, but but for, but so far. So I'm going to pull the cards and then I will give you the message. OK, so I hope that you are doing very great for yourself that you're having a fantastic day and thank you so so much for the loving messages for your support for your constant and constant support um i will continue to guide each and every one of you including the person that this reading is for uh as much as the universe permits me to guide you guys because i get so happy when people actually understand where they're going and where their life is going and and where the universe is taking them and you guys make the appropriate decisions to unite each other not just as a human race but as a family so i'm very proud of you guys and i'm so very proud of myself and i'm proud of you guys for being proud of me and again thank you so much for your support so let me get started with the reading <clears throat> and i hope you guys are also enjoying um my my microphone which I guess you guys can see the tripod right here. And excuse my nails as well. <laughs> I have to do them. I haven't done any pretty designs, but let's get started with the reading. Ooh, I just want to make sure you guys can see the cards. Okay. All right. So So the energy that I'm getting, let me see, make sure that you guys can see the cards. So the energy that I'm getting from the person that's coming through um is that she would like for him to release her from his heart even though i'm not quite sure how he would do how he would um, be able to do that because there are people that come into our lives that have passed away that are our soulmates and so there are they're forever connected to us they're forever united with us they are forever going to be with us and so so therefore it's difficult even when they ask us to release them from our energy it's difficult because even when their birthdays come around, even when their celebrations are coming around, um, their celebration of life, their celebration of their passing, their celebration of anniversaries, loving memories, they're there. It, they're there with us. However, they're showing me a, a depiction of the agnostic Christ, which is the Christ that always has the symbol like this, which is the real, true um, peace sign and he has it near his heart and the heart has kind of like a thorned crown next to it that's the depiction that i'm getting and so i know that the person's passing this person is no longer here the person's passing caused him a lot of just anger and emotional distress 
that he has never been able to cure. I I see like 14, 15 years or the number four, the number the number 14, the number 15 is what I'm seeing. So it's been a very, very long time since this person's passing, which is probably why they feel so distant, but at the same time, very much alive. Um, he, she, she wants him to know that on the other side, wherever that other side is, um, to me, it's the universe. It's not heaven, for those of you that are watching. Um, I identify with the other side as the universe. So people are vibing off the energy in the universe, in the heavens, in the many heavens that there there is. He, She wants him to know that she's very lively. She doesn't have back pain. She doesn't have um, pains on her knees or on her feet. She doesn't get the headaches anymore. Um, so she wants him to know that even though her passing might have been very unfortunate, unexpected, um, unwanted, she at, at the time did not want to go because she knew you guys were here. Um, however, it came very unexpectedly. It It's... It's a very unfortunate situation. It was her time to go, even though she did not want to release herself from this world. Um, but he's been hurting ever since. Like, he just doesn't let it go. He has been absolutely in emotional agony. From time to time, I see him, like, either going to the kitchen, looking at the kitchen, or being next to the sink, and looking outside of a window, and wishing he would have left with her, or wishing he wasn't here. But then he turns around and looks at the family, looks at you guys, and looks at everything that he's ever built, and he's grateful. Uh, and that's the feeling that she does no, doesn't want him to have anymore. She no longer wants him to be there. And then the kindred spirits... Um, the message or the overall message for him for this new moon is that it's not because he's getting older per se. It's because he's always been very much in tune with his spirits, his ancestors, people that have passed. They want him to be in the clear. They want him to be absolutely absolved of <clears throat> any unwanted low frequency, which is the reason why this reading is very important. And I mean, thank you so much for purchasing this reading for him. But um, they don't want him to have any of these uh, baggage, uh, attachments, um, things from the past. I mean, it's been 14 to it's 15 years. It's been a long time. It's been a very, very long time. And it's time to him for him to let that go. Um, I don't know. I just keep getting like a repetitive numbers like 15, 14, 12, 8, 4, 8, 12. Like... I don't know if those numbers, well, let me ask. Okay, so those those numbers, it's exactly what I thought. Um, those numbers are times and years of when people have left him or important people that, people that were very important to him, they have left him, whether it was a friend, whether it was a wife, whether it was his mom, whether it was all the women in his life, they have left him within these numbers or have a connection with these numbers. And they're all coming back. Through the portal of this new moon, they are all coming back. Okay? And they they cannot, it is imperative that he is not in low vibes or low frequency. They Otherwise, they will not be able to reach him because they're vibing off very high. So they need him to know that. They are actually alive. We're the ones that are dying. Um, if he doesn't know that, if he has not realized that about himself, um, that he, we're dying, including him, all humans in this life, we're all dying. So I'm going to give him the message um, for that day. And we have the energy of being vibrant, starting anew, um, being very vocal in regards to what he wants, what he does not want, which is absolutely fantastic and perfect. I also feel like not only because this is the new moon energy, is that I feel like he wants to start like either a new business or just something where he's constantly giving himself some sort of energy or putting his energy out to something um, and working on something. Whether that's agriculture, whether that's him sightseeing, whether that's him riding a bike, getting on a scooter, something that's going to give him even higher frequency than what he is now. Because 
<clears throat> um, not that anybody's passing away now. I don't see that here. Um, however, he because he is in such a later stage of his life, they need him to, to vibrate on the highest frequency possible because they're going to come and pick him up. So when he passes, they will all be there. And I know everyone has, oh, a near-death experiences, and that's what people see. However, um, he probably will not remember this reading when he, he's passing away or going on to bigger and better things and graduating from this life. And it's going to be a beautiful and fantastic moment because they're taking him back into time. He is a time traveler. Okay, this individual that this reading is for, I'm not going to say any names, I'm not going to say any titles because some people are absolutely absurd and crazy, but he is a time traveler. And so the, these ladies that have came and went into his, from in this life um, and they're on to another life or just vibrating off the universe, they're going to come pick him up and take him back. Um, and I feel like they're going to take him back to like ancient Egypt and he's going to stay there for a while just to obtain knowledge, obtain memory, and then he's going to move forward to a new life. I feel like this is the, something that he decided like two or three lives ago. He decided that that's exactly what he was going to do. And even though he's in this physical realm and he's in this life, he is enjoying the ability to perform scapes escapism and escapism is kind of like what Michael Jackson used to talk about I don't know if he listens to Michael Jackson his music or was a follower of Michael Jackson but it was is exactly what Michael Jackson spoke about in his music and what he practiced and what happens is that um, time travelers tend to escape time in and of itself um, in the way where they become time, where they live on throughout different times, not because we're not interdimensional beings, because we are, but time travelers have the special ability to not only go, it just, it, it's difficult to explain without hitting scientific things. Um, I'm going to just say this, they are quantum physics, okay? Uh, hence the magician card they are quantum physics they are the definition of quantum physics is what um time travelers are and <clears throat> after he has this next life after this life he's going to have another life in human form but in ancient egypt and then he's going to go and travel somewhere else not into another universe um not just into other planets but everything at the same time i feel him like skipping like okay ancient egypt okay next stop okay uh planet of venus okay next stop planet of mars okay next next universe go and this is going to be happening within our time of like five years before he's able to reincarnate into another human form um because i feel like in ancient times he was a royal blood time bloodline of royal just royalty period and it's information he has to gather he has to put it in his dna before he can reincarnate and fulfill his true and complete purpose um after five years five years after his passing in this human form now um then we have this last card which is the three of cups and the three of cups lets me know that he is going to be absolutely hysterical when he achieves his final achievement bouncing back into this planet because I feel like the amount of suffering that he's going to see in other planets and other universes and the lack of ability to stick together um, which is something sometimes uh, the lack of ability that humans have however other planets also lack it because they're kind of like stagnant and he's going to help them so that they're able to come through the portals. I know this is getting in depth, but I have to talk about it because it's my spirit talking. Um, but he's going to open portals for other entities to be able to reincarnate into this planet. So I hope that that reading makes sense to him in regards to the new moon reading and as far as like his birthday is concerned. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for purchasing yet another reading from me. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever you guys are. And... I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and 
Don't forget to catch the sales. Bye, guys.